In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, our angelic beloved in Christ, our Father, Emmanuel, how we are, and our share with you a touch of God's love. That's a short reflection and prayer on the Old Mars readings of Thursday, 12 September 2024, 23rd week in ordinary time. The, the readings are taken from 1 Corinthians 8, 1 to 7, 11 to 13, Psalm 138, 1 to 3, 13 to 14, 23 to 24, Luke 6, 27 to 38. The theme of the reflection is how to get a great reward. How to get a great reward. The first reading says, Now about food sacrifice to idols, we all have knowledge. Yes, that is so. But knowledge gives some importance. It is love. That makes the building go. A man may imagine he understands something, but still not understand anything in the way that he ought to. But any man who loves God is known by him. Well then, about eating food sacrificed to idols, we know that idols do not really exist in the world and that there is no God but the one. And even if there were things called gods, either in the sky or on earth, where there certainly seem to be gods and laws in plenty, still for us there is one God, the Father, from whom all things come and for whom we exist. And there is one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all things come and through whom we exist. Some people, however, do not have this knowledge. There are some who have been so long used to idols that they eat this food as though it really had been sacrificed to the idol. And their conscience, being weak, is defiled by it. Defiled by it. In this way, your knowledge could become the ruin of someone weak, of of a brother for whom Christ died. By sinning in this way against your brothers and injuring their weak consciences, it would be Christ against whom you have sinned. That is why since foods can be the occasion of my brother's downfall, I shall never eat meat again in case I am the cause of a brother's downfall. And the Gospel says, Jesus said to his disciples, I say this to you who are listening, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who treat you badly, to the man who slaps you on, the, on one cheek, present the other cheek too, to the man who takes your cloak from you, do not refuse your tunic. Give to everyone who asks you, and do not ask for your property back from the man who robs you. Treat others as you would like them to treat you. If you love those who love you, what things can you expect? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what things can you expect? For even sinners do that much. And if you lead to those if you lend, if you lend to those whom you hope to receive, what things can you expect? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back the same amount. Instead, love your enemies and do good on the land without any hope of return. You will have a great reward and you will be sons of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be compassionate as your father is compassionate. Do not judge, and you will not be judged yourselves. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned yourselves. Grant pardon, and you will be pardoned. Give, and there will be gifts for you. A full measure pressed down, shaken together, and round over will be poured into your lap because the amount you measure out is the amount you'll be given back. Beloved, the first reading teaches us to be greatly 
uh, teaches us that, the first reading teaches us that to be greatly rewarded, it is better to live by love than by knowledge. It uses the reason of meat sacrifice to idols to explain. It says, we know that there is nothing wrong with eating meat sacrifice to idols because only God is supernatural, only God is God. The spirits in the, in the idols are merely preternatural. They are created, they are not gods. We know that they are not gods because they are created. So, eating meat sacrificed to them does not mean we worship them. However, because we believe they are not gods, however, people whose faith is weak think that idols are gods. And eating meat sacrificed to idols scandalizes them and could cause them to lose their faith. Uh, people who, uh, who believe like that. And uh, causing people to lose their faith implies we do not love them. Thus, in order not to cause people to lose their faith, it is better not to eat meat sacrifice to idols. This is because when we cause someone to fall, we will be greatly punished. But when we help someone to stand or to go, we will be greatly rewarded. The Gospel confirms that evil acts bring us great punishment, while good acts bring us great reward. It says, we should love our enemies, bless those who curse us, pray for those who treat us badly, turn the other cheek for those who slap us, Add our shed to the one who takes our coat. Give to everyone who asks. Leave our property to the one who has taken it by force. Treat others as we want them to treat us. Be compassionate as God is. Avoid judging others. Avoid condemning others. Pardon others and give to others without expecting repayment. In short, in all these situations, we should just try to show love. We should just be loving as the Holy Spirit inspires us. When we do this, we will have great rewards, and we will be children of the Most High, and we will be repaid multiple times whatever we have given, whatever we have given out, we will be repaid multiple times. Dear beloved, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to never cause anyone to fall or to do any evil. Receive the grace never to do any evil. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace to always do what is good. In the name of Jesus, be greatly rewarded. Amen. Can I share God's love by sharing this message with others and subscribing to this YouTube channel to enable us to more. The subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. Psalm 1, 1 to 3 says, The one who loves and meditates on the word of God day and night is blessed. May this become real in your life. May Almighty God bless and protect you always the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.